Hey guys, in this video we're going to be checking out another 2.5 inch arm upgrade kit for the Baby Hawk R. That'll take your Baby Hawk R from a 2 inch micro to a 2.5 inch micro. This one is from uh, 3D Power or also the Taco RC store. And this one's called the Jet 128. And basically it's a kit that has four individual arms and these two side plates. Uh, there's a couple of 3D pieces here that hold the side plates to the uh, frame. And you also get uh, these uh, 3D printed arm bumpers that go on the ends of the arms here to uh, protect the carbon and crashes. And the, what is not included are the two supporting plates here, this bottom plate here, and this other supporting plate that, that sandwiches the arms. And as you can see you're using, I'm using the four screws from the original um, frame to hold the frame together. These two plates came from the uh, original Baby Hawk, and you're going to need to move that over to this to complete your frame. Now you can um, not use these two side plates if you don't want to, and all that, uh, that goes along with these 3D printed parts as well. If you don't want to use those, then you can just put the original canopy back on to this frame, and you'll have a 2.5 inch micro. So this kit gives you a couple options in terms of uh, converting your 2 inch Baby Hawk R to a 2.5 inch Baby Hawk R. And for those of you that prefer uh, carbon for your protection of the camera here, instead of the plastic canopy, then obviously you can stick your micro camera here in the front and it's going to be well protected and it crashes. And it, it probably will see less props in view as well because it's going to stick out a little bit more forward, uh, especially if you have a little bit of an up angle here. Uh, less props in view if you're using this option here, and obviously this is included. Okay, so the arm comes in at 3 millimeters thick, same as the original Baby Hawk. And the side plates are about 2 millimeters thick. So the frame weight comes in at about 32.4 grams, and if you throw on the 3D printed arm bumpers, the weight goes up to 34.2 grams. So to do the conversion, it's actually pretty easy. Um, don't have to really do a whole lot. Obviously you're going to have to remove the screws for the motors, because you're going to be putting the new arms in. Uh, you can leave the flight controller screwed on because you're going to be moving it over basically these two plates, the bottom plate and this other, other middle plate here, and moving over to the new frame. Uh, you're going to probably have to re rearrange these screws so those are going to have to come out once you stick the new arms in. But that's pretty much it. The motor wires are long enough to go to 2.5 inches. You don't have to uh, do any sort of modification to um, uh, extend the wires. They are long enough. And there really shouldn't be any Soldering any other kind of modification needs to be done to get this moved over, so it shouldn't take too long to uh, do the modification. And also, for those of you that saw my other video with the uh, unibody 2.5 inch frame, that was a, a prototype that came from Emacs directly, and uh, at the time they weren't sure if they were going to produce that or not, and I've been told that they're uh, leaning towards not producing that frame at this time because of the extra cost, and you can imagine cutting a unibody frame is going to cost significantly more than just cutting four individual arms to do an upgrade. So I know that uh, a lot of you guys were asking about that upgrade, uh, which would make it, as I as you saw in that video, it makes the Baby Hawk R actually a little bit lighter um, because you're not using individual arms and all that extra screws and nuts and stuff to hold the frame together actually make the frame heavier. Uh, so it doesn't look like that's going to be coming out as far as I know. That's the last I've heard of the uh, unibody frame. So I would recommend checking out uh, this kit here to take your micro up to two and a half inches. And I think the overall waking shouldn't be too much more. I will actually um, do a transfer to this this frame as well. And we'll see um, uh, what the weight is on that. But I don't think it's going to be too much more. And at two and a half inches uh, on these 11 of 6 motors, the power will be plenty. And I don't think you're going to really feel the extra weight that much. Anyway, guys, if you're interested in checking out this frame upgrade kit, Put a link in the description. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.